sit back and relax and let's look in to the looking glass. What I feel very strongly is that what takes place with elections is going to also change this world. As you know, 2024 is going to be the year, year of elections and not just to do with the US, this is across the globe. I believe that we are having the first one, which is coming up in January, which is the Taiwan election. And what takes place there is going to cause a little bit of controversy. Okay. And I'm definitely seeing China as it's coming up here very, very strong. What I feel very strongly is that there's going to be a lot of countries which are going to swing to the right. Okay. And I feel this could cause a timeline switch. This could cause a timeline switch. It depends which way you go, the left or the right. But I feel that there's going to be a lot of countries swinging to the right and it's all to do with migration. So as I look into this crystal ball, I do feel that it's going to be explosive, which is going to take place in the US. Now, there's been a lot of people who have emailed me and said, Louise, why have you changed? and Why have you gone to the right? I haven't gone to the right. I am a prediction. I predict. So what I predict, I will foretell. It does not mean that I support this. But what I'm telling you now is a lot of countries are going to swing to the right. I do feel that there's great twists ahead, okay? And especially when it comes to the US election. What I do feel is that there's going to be a stall with this. I feel that there's going to be investigations with this. I do feel that you thought the last election was stormy. This one is going to be explosive. What I do feel that could take place to do with Taiwan, I feel that it's possible that there could be a left leaning. Okay, now I'm not saying that the, the people in Taiwan want this, because I do believe that there's a lot of people turning to the right, but I am being shown blue here. Now, if I'm getting this wrong, which I don't believe I am, I do believe that the, the left will cause a lot of problems. And I am actually feeling it's as if China's coming into play here. Okay. Um, which could cause problems for the US. Now, I would say that as I'm looking into this crystal ball, I would say that there is also going to be a lot of change to take place in the UK. A lot of change. And as you know, it's the opposite way around where the blue is the Tories, the red is the Labour. I feel it's as if Labour does have a good chance. And like I said before, that I predicted that there would be elections before the election. And it looks like the way it's playing out on media now that that could be the, the case. So possibly watch out for Rishi Sunak leaving and a lot of changes to take place within the political system in the UK. But I don't feel, I think it's going to be another Tory replacing a Tory before the Labour gets in. So I would say it's going to be explosive. And this is across the globe. You've got Pakistan, you've got Brazil, you've got the US, you've got the UK, and beyond, beyond, beyond. Is it India as well? It's all over the place. But I am seeing a lot of red, if you know what I mean, a lot of it turning towards the right. And it's a lot to do with migration. And this is the people... We as the people getting angry about everything to do with borders. So watch for a lot of change there. But I do feel it's as if that they're going to try everything, absolutely everything, to block Donald Trump in this next US election. But 
it's I'm seeing a lot of red coming in, guys. There's a lot of red swinging towards Trump. So it's down to the gods. It's all down to the gods. Number two, there will be a political, the biggest lawsuits to take place and they will be televised. And this will be across world news, okay? And this is going to open a can of worms. And I've said this before. I predicted this for the last couple of years. Court cases is going to open past court cases. And I just feel the swamp is about to drain. I want to give you number two, number 12, number three, number four. Now, these could be dates of months or days, okay? So watch for that to make sense. And the 20th and the 21st and the 12th and the 13th will go down in history. So I believe that it's like we haven't hit the world stage yet. We are in the stage but we haven't hit the finale of the finale. Oh, by gum. Hold on to your hats, guys. It's going to be explosive. So I feel no matter what happens, if Trump gets in or he doesn't get in, I do feel that the biggest lawsuits in history will be televised and it's all to do with politics. So watch for that to come off this year. I am very drawn to March, April and later on in the year as well. But remember, even if he gets on or he doesn't get in, it's still going to carry on. But as Trump stays, is a centre stage with this, there's a lot of big names to come in around him who will, it's going to catapult, it's going to change. So watch for this to make sense. Number three, the stock market. I would say that it's going to, there could be a crash for the stock market. It's inevitable this is going to happen. As massive changes take place across the globe. And it's all to do with the elections as well. It's how, what plays out in the elections. Okay. But I do feel it's as if this has to happen to bring in the new system. This is huge, which is about to take place. And I want to say that China's playing a massive part in this. And it's all about economy. So it all depends who wins the election. But I do feel that the stock market will take a wobble anyway. Remember what's put out on media, in the, you know, I do believe that there's more to it. There's definitely more to it. But I'm seeing it dropping and then I'm seeing it bounce, bouncing up again. So where we could face a Great Depression, it's temporary, but then the roaring 20s will come from it. Remember, the dark can't stay there for long. The light will shine again. The light will shine again. Okay. Number four. Trade's coming in on this. Because I feel what takes place with Taiwan and China is also going to affect the rest of the world. And if you think about it, there's a lot of trade coming in from China. And I predict into the future, no matter who gets into the election, at the US election, okay? I predict China could end up into the future being the world leaders of the economy. This is no matter what, but you've got to understand the CCP will change into the future. Communism will change into the future. The Chinese people will rise. And it will flow, it will just soar again, soar into the future. Okay, so I do believe that they're not going away. I just think there's going to be a wobble, but it's the bad will take down the communism 
and then the people of China will rise. But where trade will take place, where there'll be problems, there will be a rise with BRICS, a great rise with BRICS. And this is going to cause problems for the US. And there will be a restriction on trade for quite a while. This is connected to do where we could face a, a short depression. So, like I've said before, and I'm not saying this to fear monger, we need to stock up. But I feel that there the will be problems with trade. And Australia will take the lead with another country connected in the East. Okay. Number five. I believe we will be on the edge of a WW111. And this has something to do with the Middle East, Turkey and Russia. This is what will be shown, but the West will be connected. And it is who is in power and how they will react which will stop this. This is an inevitable, this is going to happen. So it's who is in power, which will stop this. Remember, you can't eradicate all the evil off the planet, but we can get the balance back. So if as president at the time, this is inevitable, this will happen. Sadly, there will be fatalities, but there will be great change from this. When the smoke rises from the east, the people will cry, the dragon will roar, the bear will fall, and then the bear will rise again with a new leader. And so will the dragon. But there will be great change connected within the US with whoever's president by then. But for the first time in history, whoever stands within that White House will change the rules and write the new books for the United States of America. Number six, we will face cyber attacks. When I talk about WW111, what the West will feel and experience will not be atoms. It will be cyber. It will be frequency. Remember, there is great technology out there, what we do not understand, which has been held back from it because it's a gold war, guys. It's all about the money. But I do feel that this is inevitable and this will happen. But then this will bring in, the good guys will bring in the new technology, which is the new internet, the new wave of internet. I can't even feel or see that this is even connected with Starlink. This is beyond Starlink. It's alien technology. But it will bring us up to date to where we should have been. Remember, I feel we are far more advanced in 2023. So we are going to zoom into the future, guys. We are going to go to the present day of who we where we should be. You've all wanted to time travel, you are about to experience it. This will also bring in great technology. And there will be a rise in technology. And that is my next one, number six. Technology that has been held back from us. Before this, there will be a restriction on technology. It's all to do with trade. But the next technology to come in is going to be very, very futuristic. People have asked me about when the aliens are going to come, when the extraterrestrials are going to be disclosed. 
they will do this with their technology first. Remember what has been shown to us on world news is all a front to what's happening behind the scenes. We are going to go very Star Trek, guys. And the technology to come in is going to be very quantum, what's coming in. So I would say that you can still have your natural life. But you will also experience future technology. It's going to be huge. What else can I say? As I look into this crystal ball, there is a great God's plan. A great God's plan for us all rising. Number seven, it's going to be the rise of new earth. And it's going to be the power to the people after the restrictions, after the, the Great Depression. There will be people what will stand and form new communities. And this is across our lands. And there will be councils and states that will change. And there will be people who will take a great rise and a great stand on new ways of thinking, new healing techniques, it's going to be the year of spiritual ascension. You need to hold on to your hats, guys. For what is to come, we are going to be experiencing a woo-woo year. It's huge, guys. It's huge. We are going to become so telepathic and it's going to be about spiritually protecting ourselves and realizing who we are as a human race because we are the hybrids okay there is going to be great change and lastly what i say is artificial intelligence will play a big part, but I also feel it will be artificial intelligence that will change the fate for Donald Trump and the Republican Party. For what is about to take place, what may try to stop, will also expose Lastly, there will be, I'm getting Article 4 in freedom for free speech, in freedom from slavery. For there will be men, great men, men who have let their power go to their head, the rise of the beast, and a man, not one, not two, but three, who will stand on world stage and restrict humanity. And this will not be among states and countries and towns across our lands. This will be global, bigger than what we faced three years ago with the virus. But there will be a rise of people and we will use Article 4 and we will use the greatest words that they can never stop. It is written not just in our documents and our laws, but it is written in the stars. And it is I am. And I'm going to leave that one with you. Power to the people. Power to the stars. We are about to have one hell of a ride. This is your Psychic LG. I wish you all well. Stay safe. Stay calm. Stay grounded. Stay vigilant. Stay with who you are. For what is about to take place will go down in history. Goodbye now.
Where am I? I think I'm stuck on end screen. Guys, I need to stop doing this asshole traveling. I keep getting stuck in the cloud. But anyway, I'm stuck in my end screen. So don't forget, subscribe to my channel and press the bell for new updates. Those fairies, you know, we're always getting up to mischief. See you all soon. Bye now.